G'day friends, welcome to today's YouTube video. My name is James, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna to keep my voice a little bit lower than usual uh, because I think I've done permanent vocal damage after today and I'm really excited to tell you why. So let's just, let's hijack the first part of this video to talk about my news and then I'll talk about the Hobonichi five year techo a little after that. Um, today we debuted our very brand new cavalcade for the Disney 100th at Disneyland and it is something that I am so proud of I'm so excited to be in and dance in and it's been a secret like no one really knew it was coming so we couldn't really say anything there's a new song there's new choreography it's it just has been such a great experience and it feels like it's flown by but for the past month I've kind of known this was happening and I couldn't really say anything so to everyone who was not really following along when I said I'm dancing again but I can't really say anything <laughs> this is what I couldn't really talk about so today we opened that and I was just way too excited and it was screaming and screaming a lot and so I think I've ruined my voice permanently <laughs> but hopefully it doesn't uh hopefully there's no long-term damage I feel very raspy and like maybe I'll lose it tomorrow so let's just fingers crossed hope I can get through the rest of this video um it it was an opportunity that kind of presented itself towards the end of uh, the Christmas season that I was dancing at Disneyland. And so I kind of knew that it would be the next thing that I would go and do. Like I said, I couldn't really say anything because it was a special kind of surprise that we were putting on at the park. There's just tons of extra stuff going on for the 100th anniversary that has been really exciting to go and watch. And I, I mean, today is the day, Friday, January 27th. So there's stuff happening tonight that I haven't seen yet, but I've seen kind of sneaks at and previews at. So um, I'm just really excited because I want to see everything that's going on and I'm happy to be a part of it in some way. Obviously dancing because that's what I love the most and that's what I've been so in uh, so much enjoying, so enjoying? I've been enjoying so much <laughs> the past few months um, and this, the, yeah, this just made me feel really happy. I feel really proud of it because it's something that is new and we kind of got to workshop together and the director was very, uh, you know, collaborative in the sense that we got to dance and the things that she liked about someone's kind of quality she would like put in there and so it feels very much like we have this ownership over it and it just feels really really exciting and that was a bucket list item of mine from when I was 18 and I started professionally dancing I always said I want to be a part of something new like a new show or a new entertainment thing so that I could kind of workshop it and see what that experience is like I met many people who have done it and have been like don't do it it's the worst thing ever because it's blah 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 and I knew there were all these things about workshops and you know making new things that could be stressful but then there was also that really exciting part of like being the first to do something or you know being like everyone's surprised like no one's seen it before you get to have this special little secret that like you and 20 other people know about in the world like it just I've always wanted to feel what that feels like and I can say from everything I've heard the good and the bad this was that experience so it kind of checks out <laughs> um and I'm glad that I did it I'm really really happy and I think the thing that I take away the most is that I really have like this pride and I feel this really strong sense of ownership over like how this experience goes and you know there's something different about like Christmas when I was dancing in the Christmas parade something that had been around I think it's been around for like 20 something years and something that's so steeped in tradition and is so established and you feel like you that feels something completely different like you're entering into this kind of establishment and you're you're kind of becoming a part of a, a history of something but this being new feels just completely different I don't know how to explain it but I am loving it and I was loving it too much and screaming too much so my voice is a little sore but other than that I've been running on adrenaline all day and I've just been having a wonderful day. That is why my face is clean shaven again, uh, because I'm back out dancing, but I do have fresh little black nails. How do you feel about these? Don't tell me how you feel about them. <laughs> I'm wearing them. I, I don't care. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been great. So uh, I'm going to share some of that on my Instagram. I'm sure if you search around the stuff on YouTube, you'll find some videos of that. If you're curious to go and see what that all looks like, but now I'm Honestly, really, really happy that it's not a secret because you know what I'm like with secrets. I cannot keep them at the best of times and especially ones that I really know I'm not supposed to say anything about. It, my, my lips are just <laughs> eager to tell everybody. So it's been great. I've had a wonderful day. I am I think all the adrenaline, once it wears off, I'm just going to crash. So hopefully it happens right at the end of this video once it's exported and uploaded to YouTube and hopefully you get this tonight. Please, I hope you get it tonight. <laughs> I don't know why it would make such a difference if you got these videos on Saturday, but 
ever since I said to myself, like, oh, I promise to do them on Fridays, one video a week, um, I, I literally remember thinking to myself, if I can't get that, if I can't manage that, like, I, I'm a nightmare. Like, how could I not manage that? It's the least I could do for what I was you know, setting up years ago. But then sometimes you really find yourself like a full schedule, you write at the end of the week, and I hate leaving things to the last minute like this, but sometimes it's inevitable. So apologies to those who is looking out for this video earlier on Friday at the regular times I usually upload. I, I hope I get this out to you before Saturday. Because <laughs> it would be, it's terrible on a Saturday. No one wants this on a Saturday. No one cares about Hobonichi five years on a Saturday. Actually, let's speak about the Hobonichi five year because I think this is the first time I've worked on this on screen. Like, I don't really remember other than flipping it and making it like sometimes in a little TikTok or a little reel or something, I'll film some of my writing, but I don't ever really work on this on screen. And it really just comes down to the fact that this is one of those things I just do personally for myself uh, that I don't tell myself would make good content because usually I'm writing in it. The stuff that happens on the right hand side of the page, which is what this video is all about, kind of finishing those pages for up until today in January, uh, that stuff just happens so sporadically that I'm, I don't really feel like grabbing the camera for the next you know, two minutes I might be doing stickers and then putting that aside for a video that may or may not happen four months down the line. Like I don't really work like that. And I definitely don't feel the need to film all of the writing in it because there's only so much writing footage I think you can put in before people just start to fall asleep. <laughs> it's truth be told, that's how I feel about it anyway. And I speed it up till all eternity, so. That's how I feel about filming in this journal and making content out of it. <clears throat> it's not that it's too personal to share because I literally am sharing it on Playtest Patreon. We've been doing a new series called The Last Five Years where I take days from this that are now fully complete and go through each day over the five years and kind of talk about those experiences and elaborate on them. Excuse me a second. <clears throat> I don't know if that's going to reset my voice or not. <laughs> Not a singer. I don't know how to reset my voice. You can hear it in my throat, right? I've, I've legit done damage. Steve's a singer. Steve can help me. I'll have to get on his little Celine Dion mask. Anyway, so that's why I don't really film in this, but I'm excited to share with you just some of what that looks like, because in all reality, it is just the same as any other journal, but it's a tiny format. Like A6 really is small, and I still think it's the most manageable for me to keep up with. If this were my only journal, like there is a fantasy world out there, another timeline that exists where I am a journaler that doesn't do any content journaling, but I have an A5 five-year journal and that's where I do all my journaling, only in that. Can you believe that timeline exists? Because I don't. <laughs> I know I'd still probably have another art, like, you know, watercolor type journal to work in, but I really do sometimes think like, oh, wouldn't that just be amazing to see how much I could shove into that if it was just my journal? Because journal everything all the all everything always like I don't know but we're not in that timeline we're in this one so what I have never really thought to tell you before about it, and all the things that I've told you like I think I made a whole video about the pros and cons of Hobonichi but I don't know if I mentioned this in there um one of the cons about this it is it is really difficult once it's chunked up so much even when it's not to be fair it's just a really thick small kind of brick of a journal once it chunks up it's really hard to find a place for your wrist to rest wrist to rest, say that quickly, <laughs> uh, when you're writing or drawing or painting or whatever you're doing. So I actually prop mine up with some journals underneath the front cover or the back cover, whichever side's got, you know, the less paper so I can balance it out. And then sometimes I have to find something to put my wrist on that's about the same level. It, it would be like, maybe if I had like a, a desk that had a little inset into it, <laughs> it would be easier. But yeah, trying to find something to prop my arm up onto, to prop my whatever side of the journal is too thin up onto, it can be a real uh, kind of challenge that way. Sometimes, I think in the past I've explained that you can kind of bend the book back and do it that way, but at this point I, I don't really want to stress the spine out. It's five years, it's held it together, I really don't want to do that at this point. And then also you have to take the cover off and I'm just too lazy. So propping it all up does work, but it is an extra step that I don't think too many people would care for. I'm the worst. It's so funny. A lot of people have said that they've bought the Hobonichi five year because of uh, when I share it, they really like it. But I think I am the worst spokesperson for Hobonichi five year journals because all I say is that they're they're a huge commitment. It's really hard to keep it going. Like I think I only ever say these really negative things, but trust me, the positives really do outweigh it. 
again, I think you just have to be a certain type of person to be able to keep up with it. Like, you have to be dedicated to it and strict with it. It's not something that, like, it's not something I would want to leave on the wayside and try and go back to. I, I just don't think I could do that. Um, and then even still, with my own mission to make sure that it's finished by the end of the fifth year, which is this year, 2023, it means I've got all these right-hand pages that I need to finish. And some of them are empty. Some of them are full, which is great, but there are more empty ones than full ones. And over the five years, I've always just imagined like, oh, I've got five years. I mean, I'll maybe that page will get done in 2022. That one will get done in 2020. Like, who knows when they'll get done, but they'll get done. I imagine by this year, there'd be like the tiniest little corner on maybe like a few different pages. And I'd be, I'd be upset that I didn't have enough space to work in. And it's quite the opposite. I have so much. Thankfully, the left-hand side pages are all finished and up to date the way they should be because that is really where a lot of, you know, I, I think the importance of this journal is, is in all that writing. But I really do love the artistic element to it as well. <coughs> Pardon me. I really love having the photos in there because I love all the photos. I especially love the little vacation strips of photos, the collages. And I also love that there's a lot of illustration in here that feels very of that year. So things that I remember that will take me back to 2020 like nothing else. But then there's new things that I'm trying this year. Like a lot of this, what I've been doing through January is trying another attempt at something I did before and just seeing where I am now. I'm not trying to be better. I'm not trying to be like, oh, these are the things I learned. I just kind of attempt it the same way and just see what's different. To be fair, I think the thing that's most different is uh, I'm looser, messier, looser, sketchier, whatever you want to call it. I don't seem to care as much about cleaning things up and I really lean into the sketchiness of it all. Excuse me, my nose. Everything is going wrong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> At least I'm less nasal today, but now it's my throat. You think there'd be a day where I'd get on here and I'm like, I feel physically ready to do this. But we just don't have that opportunity at this point. I have to be doing it whenever I can uh, find some time to do it because my schedule is happily packed. Um, I'm taking my gold pen here. I've been just using gold pens to go over my photos lately. I, whenever I find a supply, like not even find it, it wasn't hidden, but whenever I just pick one out that I haven't used in a while, it tends to be something that I'll just kind of cycle through for a couple of weeks and then it'll go away again. And gold pen right now seems to be having its moment. So I hope she enjoys it. This is, um, this is from my February collage club. Uh, sheets. There's some stuff in here that you'll see that is from the February uh, Collage Club, so keep an eye out for that. There's tons of Valentine's Day stuff in that set. You'll see the videos on here as well, um, but I'm really, really happy with that, and that's all ready to go. This, I printed out my thumbnail for my Australia video, my Australia vlog, just because I, I spent so long collaging it all together, and I actually loved that it had so many memories in it, and I felt like, I need to document this. Like, this, this YouTube thumbnail is going in. <laughs> Which, you know, YouTube is a really big part of what I do. It's definitely not the big part of my business. Like, if all I had was YouTube, we wouldn't be here. But um, it is something that I've been so committed to since 2017, since before I even had this journal. Like, sometimes I, I feel like... I don't know. I, sometimes I just don't feel like I, I recognize that, that it is kind of a, a really integral part of what I do at JLB Creative. Because sometimes in my head, I still feel like... I was back in 2016 where Stella and I were like, oh, we should make YouTube channels. And it was just like a little joke and we did. And then now I'm still going. Like, I don't know if my brain registers that, hey, you made that channel. You've been using that channel as a part of your business for so long now. Like in my head, I could say, oh, tomorrow it'll all go. And like, that's fine. Like it really can't. Like I do commit to being here every Friday. It's a part of my schedule and my life at this point. So not a bad way, but sometimes it's just weird when that, that idea dawns on me because it still feels very optional, even though it's not for me. <laughs> I still feel like at any point I could just, yeah, I'm going to leave YouTube tomorrow. It's okay. Everyone's finished with it. <laughs> Do you imagine? What if YouTube closed down? What would we do? There's my hoodie booty, my uh, hoodie booty bell. My niece, Savannah, started ballet lessons, which I am over the moon about. I didn't even suggest to her mother, my little sister, um... <laughs> Her name is Savannah. 
my little sister's nickname is Savannah, so sometimes it just gets all muddled. But um, yeah, I never even suggested that she should do dance lessons, but she loves attention, so it makes sense. I think she's a little young for choreography, but she just, again, she loves attention, so it's going to work out. Um, and I'm just obviously thrilled because I love to dance and I love that she's dancing. And I really want to go in to see her before. <laughs> Uh, I should, I'm going to save my money. I'm going to save my money. I'm going to see what I can do because there is, I just want to be that proud uncle screaming from the front row. But if I've learned anything from today and screaming is that I, I can't scream and keep my voice. But we did manage to make it through this. I hope you enjoyed seeing me work on some of that Hobonichi five year. I imagine this will come up frequently throughout 2023 because it is my intention to like I said, finish this journal and there's a lot of right hand side pages that I'm going to have to dedicate some time and energy to. And I figured that we could share in that together and then I'd really be committed to it. So if you like the five year Hobonichi uh, journal videos like this, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to film them when I do them. Uh, otherwise, I'll just keep sharing them on Instagram and reels and stuff like that. That's where you can see a lot of it is my TikTok and my reels uh, for the Hobonichi five year. It is my favorite journal, one of, but yeah, my favorite. <laughs> Don't tell my other journals, they'll hate me. I uh, and thank you again for uh, all your well wishes and all your support through my dancing. I am so excited to be starting this new chapter. I should be scheduled through till about the end of February and then who knows what happens after that, but um, I am just gonna take every day as it comes and enjoy everything that I can enjoy about it. And uh, yeah, still committed to being around here for everything that I still do, so. Stick around and enjoy yourself.